Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Monday, November 5th, 2018. Free pick coming up in Monday Night Football on this report. Uh, first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Uh, interesting weekend. Uh, we finished two games under 500 in football for the first time under 500 since back in mid-September, around September 20, 20th, I guess it was. Uh, it's been a good five, six-week run, but two games under 500 in college and pro football this weekend, but we actually produced units. We had a profit of nearly three units, which is what we want to get done is build your football bankroll and and ours also when we're making our bets. So uh, we did win, but the uh, record wasn't as shiny. And uh, the reason we won is because we hit all the big plays. We had the eight-star uh, underdog game of the year win with the Atlanta Falcons as they destroyed the uh, Redskins 38-14. to Saturday, seven-star main event winner on Iowa State as they whipped Kansas. Our next biggest play was a four-star. We won that. That was on Saturday with two lanes. So anything rated four stars or higher won and uh, we were able to produce uh, almost three units of profit for the weekend in football. And I uh, can't wait to get next week's games underway. I'm telling you, man, we're now on a 38-17 and 17 run in college football and the NFL combined. 38-17, and 17, and we're up nearly $11,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit over this run, 38-17. and 17. So uh, we'll have more on that on Tuesday and what we're looking to do this upcoming weekend. We've already jumped into the card, so um, should even have an early value play, hopefully, for Tuesday's video. Uh, bad news over the weekend is that we lost in the NBA. we got to kick it into gear in the NBA. Um, we lost a, a game yesterday by a couple of buckets, and uh, college basketball is going to, of course, be starting on Tuesday. It just gets earlier and earlier. We can remember, remember when it started around Thanksgiving weekend, and then over the last few years, it's been around November 10th. This year, November 6th, Tuesday. And uh, we will have some updates on our college basketball report for Tuesday morning here on the video. I love November college basketball. And, and in fact, we are on an 82-53, and 61% November college basketball run. Not only will we be talking about this over the next several days and every day, basically, college basketball throughout the weeks, all the way into March and through March Madness, uh, but again, we will be talking about college basketball on this Wednesday night's Vegas Beat podcast over at DocSports.com. Myself, Alan Harris, Tony George, we've got at least one sports book director from here in Las Vegas who's going to be on the show, maybe two. So we'll be talking about early college basketball numbers, what you should look for when handicapping the college hardware. That's going to be a blast. Don't forget, Tuesday over at DocSports.com, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, we'll have both NBA and NHL posted. Uh, free play, again, is in Monday Night Football. We'll get to that in just a second. But I wanted to go back to college basketball for a minute because right now our college basketball packages are discounted over at DocSports.com. little early bird discount over there in college baskets. And we are also on a 73-44 and 44 all-sports winning run. Uh, so those NBA plays and NHL plays, you don't want to miss out. They will be posted at DocSports.com by 1 p.m. Eastern time. Let's get to Monday Night Football. It's the Titans at the Cowboys right now. Dallas laying four and a half. Titans don't score, uh, score a lot of points, and we get it. Uh, something like 17 or 18 straight games where they have not topped 24 points in regulation. Uh, Mariota rarely throws more than two touchdown passes in a game and on and on. Uh, but the offensive line is a little bit healthier this week coming off the bye, and the defense keeps them in football games, and we expect more of that tonight. Listen, Dallas's passing game is weak. That's why they went out and got Amari Cooper. I don't know that he's going to have that big of an impact against this tight defense with a week to prep. Both teams, of course, the week to prep. I don't believe he'll make a big difference tonight. We'll see. Uh, but he probably will start adding some dimensions to this Dallas offense they haven't had this year. Uh, a game two, game three, as he gets used to playing with his Dallas teammates, so maybe down the road. Uh, but Tennessee's on this nice 7-2 and two spread run off a straight-up loss. Both teams of the week to prep. I like the defense of the Titans, and I like the fact that the offensive line had a chance to get a little bit healthier uh, during the bye week. We're taking the points with the Titans, plus 4.5 over Dallas. The Tennessee Titans, plus the points, our free play. Uh, in Monday Night Football. Listen, if you like what you're seeing here, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so. 
thus far. Don't forget about NBA and NHL, 1 p.m. Eastern time, Monday over at DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, right back here Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. Again, best of luck on Monday.